one problem that I keep on seeing pop up in the meta ad space all the time is bad landing pages, particularly in the B2B and agency arena. Your ad might look great, but you're sending them to a clunky desktop optimized landing page that just isn't built for mobile. And considering most people are probably browsing your ad on mobile, you need to make sure that you're optimized there so they don't bounce straight away. I have been guilty of this myself, so I wanted to find a solution that actually fixed it. If you're new here, my name is Fraser. I run Fraggle. We're an ad creative agency helping e-commerce brands of seven, eight, and nine figures help scale them with their paid media. I've worked with brands like Aloha, The Black Stuff, Chomps, Govi, the list goes on. I need a new funnel and I need it quickly. If you don't know, I have a free newsletter called Nice Ads. There's a link down below where you can subscribe. I send free creative strategy breakdowns of ads every single Monday. I don't want to be waiting for a designer. I don't want to use a lot of the landing page builders that I've used in the past. So I found a new tool called Perspective. Their entire reason for existing is that 90% of your traffic and clicks come from mobile. So you need a landing page builder that is optimized for mobile. I had a little play on it and then I actually reached out to them and they sponsored this video so that I can show you building a funnel live. And that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. I am going to build my actual newsletter funnel using perspective, show you how it all links together. And I'm going to go through the entire thing live here on this video. So let's have a look what perspective looks like. So it is super easy to use. You can have different workspaces, but the main thing is that you have different funnels. You can have a funnel for everything. You can see I've had a couple here that I've been messing about with. You can even do like the cool little social pages. It's essentially a funnel for everything. Right now, my funnel that I use for nice ads uses a unbounced landing page, which is super clunky and unreliable to use. And then that then feeds to a type form and then they get all the automations and stuff through Zapier. We're going to cut out quite a lot of those tools by using perspective. So I'm going to make a new funnel and we're just going to go for this, I think. So I'm going to click new New funnel here. Now you're greeted by selecting one of their templates. Lucky for me, they actually have a template which is perfect for what I want. It's a lead magnet because we're going to be giving away a free mini course. So I'm just going to click see details. It's going to tell me all the things it has. It's got four pages, GDPR ready. It's responsive. Four minutes to finish, which is unreal. And I'm just going to click start with this template. Now this is going to load in their pre-existing template. And now I can just go ahead and I can start to change things. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is going to change the design. I've already made a theme here. Uh, I'm going to apply that so that will apply my brand colors across my entire funnel already looking fantastic. Now there's a couple of things that I want to change about. First one, I want to put my logo in the header here. It's drag and drop. It is so easy. I've got a couple of logos here. Let's see here which one looks the right size. We will go for that one. Uh, I also want that in the center. I think, I think that looks a little bit cooler. Uh, I don't need this, so I'm just going to delete it. So if you don't want anything, you can just delete it. Now I've already got some copy that I am going to copy over. So let's have a look here. Ooh, there we go. Steal my best ad creative secrets for free. I think that's a pretty solid header. Now I've also got some subheading copy here as well. Obviously I've already pre-written all this copy. I would advise that if you're going to make a landing page, probably best to go into it with the copy that you want on the page already. Uh, so some text isn't colored right. So I'm just going to highlight it and color it. This is, it's like Canva for landing pages. It is so insanely easy. Now I want a cool little image here. So I actually went over to Canva earlier and I made this little like mock-up. It makes a lead magnet look more like a physical product instead of just like a download link, which you're actually going to get. So if you can do that, I would suggest doing that. And now the meat and potatoes are the main thing, which is the sign up sheet. Of course, we want to grab people's names, emails, all the relevant information. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this with keep uh, with put your information in below, but I am going to change the color. Now, obviously we're not giving away a, uh, a bundle, are we? So instead I want to copy here what I've already got, which is get your free course, change the color of this. You can actually see it. As you can see, it's already got my colors for um, each CTA. Of course, again, that is not the copy that I want. So I'm going to copy it from over here. I'm going to plump it out. So if you already have all your copy written, this takes so little time, it is unreal. And you can see that this is all built 
inside like a mobile device already, which makes it 10 times easier. So now I really like this bit, this as seen in and reported about, but what I do want to do is I want to kind of talk about some of the brands that are already subscribed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, join the top brands in DTC that are already subscribed. Now for this, you can literally look, you can just plop in the logos of brands already, which is fantastic. You can even like put them in grayscale if you want, or you can have them all in separate colors. That's pretty cool as well. Because again, you'd normally have to run into Photoshop or Figma, recolor them. It's an absolute pain. So this is a really cool feature that I literally just found about as I was doing this is that instead of going to Google, which I'd literally just recorded myself doing and finding all these logos, they have this thing called brand fetch where you can find companies logos. So let's see if we can find some people that are subscribed. So I know TikTok, they're subscribed. So let's plop in the TikTok one. Here we go. Lovely. We'll just grab one of them. Use media. It's plopped that in for me. Uh, we've got another one. We've got Burberry. Nice. That's on there as well. Look at this. This alone has made my life so much easier because usually you end up spending like a million years trying to find all these different logos and different versions of them, but I can do them all on here. How cool is that? All right, so another brand is Dr. Squash. Let's see whether it has this one. This one's a bit niche. It does have it. Oh my gosh, that's made my life a million times easier. Uh, another one is Huel. Uh, so let's search for Huel. And there we go. We can pop that one in. We'll pop the white one in. Happy days. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to grayscale all the logos so that we don't have a lot of confusing colors. And now it says, join the world's top brands already subscribed. Perfect. Now we have a couple more changes that I want to make. So this is again going to show you how easy this is to do so after this i want this like big chunky paragraph that basically tells you what the actual newsletter does so i'm going to pop that in there i'm going to change to one of my pre-existing uh sizes of text already again making my life easier i don't need this so i just delete it look how easy this is it's drag and drop like i said now i have i really liked the idea of these little bits here so I'm going to keep them. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the icons and I will show you exactly how we can do that using pre-existing icons that are already built into perspective. Guys, you don't realize how much time using stuff like this saves. The, the amount of funnels that I will make to test something is ungodly sometimes. And so this makes it super easy. So I don't need this list item. So I can just, I can just delete it. I just click list. I just delete. Now, a couple of things I want to change here. I want to change the color of these. This one actually works because I think a hook and a Facebook logo probably goes together. However, this one, I don't think does. So still battle tested creative ideas. What can we have for here? Ooh, that works. Lovely. Every week get fresh inspiration. So we can pop in a little calendar and there we go that's looking really nice i like that now i don't need this image i can delete that uh, i don't need uh no i'll keep this design now you can see there's a little column section so if i want to add a new column that doesn't exist in here i can just click add new column they have these interactive ones like video questions multiple choice because part of this is you can have like the type form style quiz stuff built inside. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Or you can just, you know, you can drop in some graphics, a slider, you know, there's uh, embedded blocks in there as well. Um, now this is all black, this text. Um, so I don't think we need, I don't think we need any of this. So I'm gonna click on the column here and I'm just gonna delete everything inside the column because we don't need any of this. We don't need a review. I don't want any of this. I tested this stuff before and it doesn't necessarily work. I do want to keep some stars. So I'm going to change these to this nice little green. You can also, you know, adjust like what information you want there as well. And now we've got this next section here where I want just a nice, cool uh, little bit of copy here just to once again, pull people into subscribe. These are all, you know, checked and ready for CRO so that we know that they are going to work. We, you know, we, we can a B test stuff as well inside here if we want. However, we don't need to do that. because I'm just going to put all my faith in one, I think, and get the course once again. So we just put in another way for people to subscribe at the bottom. Now we could keep all this here, but I am just going to delete this because I don't really need it. I don't think. Now, let's have a look what this looks like. Let's preview this. So we just click the little preview button up there, and now it's going to give us a little preview of what it looks like on mobile. You can see already it looks absolutely mega. There's a couple of gaps here which we can probably get rid of. Now, Although this is optimized for mobile, we can see what it looks like on desktop just by clicking there. So you can see this looks mega on desktop as well, which is 
so cool that it's just all there, but we're looking at mobile first. Now to get rid of these little spaces, I need to make sure that I click on the right section, which is the layout. And I just delete that same for this one here. So again, just layout delete now. Can you see we have like no gaps looking good one more here that we need to remove just delete that we need to delete this divider as well okay so if i want i can you know change all this uh, i can get a privacy window if i want here and i can pop that in as well but that is looking pretty nice to me already so we have basically built the page we'll give it another last look here we go that looks nice on mobile like that very nice even got a nice little animated button there as well very smart now the next bit is super small because like i mentioned before i direct people currently from an unbounce page all the way to a type form so there's a redirect happening which increases loading times people can drop off and normally i don't get the data that i need to find out more about my subscribers you don't have that in here because in this personalization section here I can ask them questions like qualifying questions so I can find out more data about them so there's only really one question that I need to know about my subscribers and that is if they're a D2C brand or an agency this makes things easier further down the line because I can you know separate my customers by who they are so I can send them relevant emails so what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to have two questions on the page and it's going to say, are you a D2C brand or are you an agency? So I can just uh, delete these. I don't need these. Are you sure? Yes, I do. I can delete this as well. I don't need that. I'm going to change some of the colors and stuff in a second. So we're going to have, what are you? You're a brand. Uh, let's have it in bold. I want white for this section. I'm also going to change white to this bit here. And now again, I'm going to use the image here. So I think for a brand like a box would work like a shipping box. Uh, so let's pop that in there. Very nice. Now for this, we want an agency. There we go. Now we're going to change that to white as well. We're going to change this top section here to white. And for an agency, it's about people. So let's search people. I like this. Uh, no, I like that one. Actually, I like that one a little bit better. So people are going to come to this page first. They're going to fill out their information. We're going to store that information. Then they're going to go to the personalization page where then they can find out whether they're a brand or an agency and that information will be stored. Now, depending on the answers of which people pick here, you can send them to a different page if you want. So if you have you know, a different lead magnet for a brand than you do an agency, you can do that as well. I don't have any of that. So in this results section here, I'm gonna delete all these other results because I don't need them. There's no need for these. I just wanna find out that data. I'm not bothered about sending them anywhere different. So I'm literally just going to delete all this. I don't need any of this information. I don't want any of it there. I also don't want that, but I do want this information. I want to give them some information here uh, because otherwise, you know, it seems a bit pointless. So we've already got the first name, so we might as well make it customizable with a little variable uh, that you can just implement there. And I'm going to just tell them what's happening next. I say that the course is waiting for you in your emails and we're done. It's now complete. I have basically made the entire funnel just like that. And they also have a feature here where you can send your emails as well from here. I'm not going to do that. So once they submit their information, it will go into the contact section here where I can filter them. I can send emails from here or I can implement one of their apps that they have. So for example, like Make here is a similar version to Zapier. You can use webhooks here as well. You use Google Tag Manager, Hotjar. There's, there's a ton of different things here that you can implement. For example, we use as a CRM go high level. So if I wanted, I could forward the data from perspective here into go high level. Uh, however, we use Beehive for our emails. So what I'm going to do is add in Zapier here and then connect that to my existing Zap already, which would send the information from here to Zapier and then to Beehive, which is where I would send the lead magnet. So in well under 10 minutes, I'd say here, we have created a great looking funnel which is all built for mobile and i can view it on desktop if i want and it will 
collect all the information I need and it will also allow me to get more information via the quiz feature. And then I can use their integrations to send that data to other platforms if required. Now, remember this video is sponsored by Perspective. However, genuinely this tool is pretty incredible and I've been using it for the past couple of months. I think it is one of the easiest funnel builders out there. It has all the necessary information and features that you need without any of the fluff. It is honestly the fastest way to build a funnel. You saw how quick it was. You saw it live. If you have everything already prepared, you're literally dragging and dropping. I think in terms of the pricing, it's, it's also very affordable because a lot of these landing page builders are charging you ridiculous prices for features that you'll probably never use. And the fact that you can have multiple funnels there, you can have them going to multiple different places, it just makes sense. You can also get very detailed analytics so you can fully understand where people are bouncing, where they're coming from, and it will help you manage all your contacts from one place. And also, if you have a custom domain, you can connect that directly here so they aren't going to a perspective page, they're going to niceads.uk, for example. This is my current landing page for niceads, and I'm sure that you can agree this one that we built in perspective is like a million times better. And that wraps up the entire process of building a funnel inside perspective. Let me tell you guys, this tool is long overdue, particularly in the agency and B2B space. Something like this has been needed for a long time, and it's incredible. So if you're running paid ads and you need a well-optimized funnel and landing pages built for mobile, I would seriously suggest you check out Perspective. There's a link down below if you want to sign up for yourself. And remember, if you're a brand that happens to be spending over 70,000 on ads and you need some help with your ad creative because you've already got your funnel sorted, I would love to chat with you. You can scan the QR code on screen now if you want, or there's a link down below to fill out an application form, and then we can have a chat. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like it, and I'll see you soon.